Rich people will spend a lot of money trying to slow down aging and live longer. You have people like Peter Thiel, Sam Altman and Jeff Bezos investing hundreds of millions of dollars into different companies to try to reverse and slow down aging. In this video, I'm going to cover some of the more crazier and more advanced anti-aging strategies that the rich people use to try to live longer. It's showtime. Number one is going to be gene therapies. Gene therapy is a type of medical procedure that manipulates gene expression or changes properties of living cells with a goal of longevity, treating certain medical conditions or to have other therapeutic effects. Now, gene therapy is something that comes from sci-fi books in a lot of ways, like editing your genes and actually changing your gene expression is something that has you know, been the main topic of discussion for many reasons in terms of longevity and ethics in the biohacking world for you know, many years. Over the past few decades, there have been actually quite a lot of companies trying to offer these gene therapy technologies to individuals. Gene therapy has found some success in treating certain medical conditions like leukemia, immunodeficiencies, Parkinson's disease, and different kinds of retinal diseases and cancers but so far the evidence that gene therapies are going to have life extension effects is somewhat limited we do have a 2015 case report by a company bioviva liz parish is the ceo of bioviva and in 2015 she took two of her own company's gene therapies one for age-related muscle loss and the other against stem cell depletion in 2016 they released a report that parish's telomeres had lengthened by 20 years a 2022 paper by Bioviva claimed that Liz Parrish, who is now 52 years old, had reduced her telomere biological age from 62 in 2015 to 25 in 2022. That's a decrease of 5.3 years per year of chronological age advancement. Bioviva has also published a trial in 2021 where they successfully administered two longevity genes, telomerase and clotho, into the brains of five elderly men who suffered from dementia with a virus transport. Within a year of administration in 2022, all five men demonstrated evident reversal of dementia symptoms. Now the issue with these reports is that they're very small, they're actually not peer-reviewed by other scientific journals, and of course the company has conflicts of interests, it has a financial incentive incentive to try to come up with very amazing results in terms of reversing human aging and promoting longevity with these gene therapies because they actually offer these therapies in their company. And keep in mind, these therapies, in terms of anti-aging, they're not FDA approved. You can't get them in the US. You can get them only from other countries like Colombia, which is actually the company mostly does their trials. And these trials aren't cheap. You can expect to pay tens of thousands of dollars for a single therapy. And the FDA actually recently approved the most expensive medicine in history, which is a $2.8 million gene therapy. It's a one-off treatment for patients with rare genetic blood disease. It's obviously covered by the FDA and it's not millionaires trying to get this medicine. It's mostly done for scientific advancement and getting a first human trial. So overall, gene therapies are, first of all, experimental. We don't have a lot of evidence showing that they work, especially in the field of longevity and anti-aging. There are some successful human clinical trials for other medicines medical conditions like very rare genetic human conditions but none of them are on these very common age related issues like Alzheimer's sarcopenia or some other types of age-related conditions and second of all these gene therapies are also very expensive so they're going to be probably tens of thousands of dollars hundreds of thousands of dollars and in some cases even up to millions of dollars Disappointed! the second therapy that millionaires use is blood transfusion basically getting young blood into their body and i'm pretty sure you heard about brian johnson's recent experiment with this blood transfusion where he basically got a blood transfusion from his 17 year old son and him himself gave his blood to his 70 year old father but brian johnson didn't invent this blood transfusion idea it was actually peter thiel who was the first billionaire who mainstreamed the idea of injecting themselves with young people's blood in 2016. Ambrosia was the company that offered this kind of treatment. They did it under the guise of a clinical trial that costed $8,000. So it's actually not FDA approved either. They did it kind of illegally under the guise that it's a medical trial and you have to pay $8,000 to do it, but we don't know whether or not it works or not. The hype about this therapy originates from a 2014 study where young blood from young mice rejuvenated the brain of old mice. Again, this treatment is very experimental. There's little to no studies about this except for these mice studies, and there's literally no other human clinical trials that I could have found that uh, would indicate whether or not it works, or there's no even no clinical trials showing that 
it's been done in humans successfully. I know it's like a conspiracy theory that rich people are like vampires and they suck the blood out of younger people to get these anti-aging benefits for themselves by consuming the young blood. But based on the studies and the science, then there's no real evidence that it would work. So even if they are doing that, which I don't know if they are, but even if they are doing that, then it probably doesn't work. It probably doesn't has no actual longevity benefits. At least we don't have any evidence so far that would prove otherwise. It's a trap. Number three is gonna be different kinds of anti-aging peptides. Peptides are short chains of amino acids that are used for different kinds of therapeutic effects. There are a lot of different kinds of anti-aging clinics that offer injectable peptides for the sake of slowing down either aesthetic aging or improving some of the age-related conditions like muscle function, bone density, different kinds of wound healing effects, and uh, etc. Some of the more common anti-aging peptides are copper peptide, which is said to have anti-aging effects for the skin and wrinkles, epithelon, which is a synthetic peptide that can lengthen telomeres, and BPC-157 that helps with joint healing and joint pain. The effectiveness of these peptides is also somewhat limited. We don't have like a ton of human trials showing or even using these peptides but at least we have some animal studies like copper peptide or ppc 157 that uh, yes they might help with some aspects of wound healing or like skin health the cost of these peptides is significantly smaller than gene therapy so the peptides are going to be costing around a few hundred up to a few thousand so they're not crazy expensive but at the same time we don't have definite evidence either that they will work and the last therapy is hormone replacement therapy so for men it's either trt testosterone replacement therapy or for women Women, it's hormone replacement therapy usually involving estrogen both men and women might also use growth hormone as a therapy with age you see a significant decrease in testosterone and after menopause then obviously women have significantly less estrogen as well it's found that testosterone replacement therapy of men suffering from late onset low testosterone increased survival rate by 9 to 10 percent in five years oestrogen replacement therapy has resulted in increased survival by 2.6 percent in five years hormone replacement therapy is associated with improved cognition and larger brain volumes in at-risk apoe for women in symptomatic men 65 years of age or older raising testosterone concentrations for one year from moderately low to the mid normal range for men 19 to 40 years of age had a moderate benefit with respect to sexual function and some benefit with respect to mood and depressive symptoms but no benefit with respect to vitality or walking distance so hormone replacement therapy and testosterone replacement therapy will certainly improve the quality of your life. You will have more energy, you will have higher libido, you will maintain sexual function even in your later years, you will probably be more cognitively adept as well, and you will certainly have better body composition, more muscle tissue, less fat tissue, better bone density, etc. But whether or not HRT or TRT will extend your lifespan is still not clear. Of course, if you have low hormones like low testosterone then you are at a higher risk of obesity metabolic syndrome diabetes alzheimer's and pretty much other age-related conditions because your hormone levels are low raising your hormone levels back up with trt or hrt will certainly help to mitigate against or reduce the risk of developing these age-related conditions but there's no evidence that the hormone replacement therapy would add additional years to your life beyond what is normal or beyond what is considered like the maximum for humans but it certainly will improve the quality of your life and in many ways if you extend your health span if you maintain your vitality and functional independence and physical fitness for a little bit longer then theoretically you will also add a few extra years to your life overall i would say that the trt and hrt is something that you need to discuss with your doctor whether or not you qualify for that or whether or not you need it but the rich people are certainly doing the hrt and trt especially once they reach their 50s 60s and 70s so there you have it these are some of the top longevity therapies that rich people are doing especially gene therapy maybe blood transfusions i don't know but they're certainly doing peptides and hormone replacement therapy some of the more experimental biohackers might do gene therapy as well but do you want to slow down aging and live longer if yes then i'm looking for more people who want to reverse their biological clock if you're interested then email me the word health to info at seamland.com and i'll send you the details but other than that thanks for watching this video make sure you click a like subscribe notification bell as well my name is Seam. Stay optimized, stay empowered.